Okay, today we'll cover document types, review types, billing types, number range, sales area, categories. Okay. Uh, SPRO. Sales and uh, distribution, basic functions. Functions. Where is sales? Oh, okay. Sales, sales documents, sales document, header, and define document. Header. Okay, why would uh, it now? This represents business transactions in sales and it performs a central controlling uh, function for the process. Standard order, double click, and we have these number of ranges, okay? And we have some more screen controls, okay? And uh, we have shipping delivery types, outbound delivery will be done, okay? And of course, the billing will be having its own document types, okay? The company billing will be represented with this symbol. Next is delivery types. Okay, delivery delivery types. Mm. Logistics execution, shipping, okay, shipping, deliveries, delivery types. Now this will be used for let's say there are various processes a rough gr this is your receipt and purchase order will be required for it and every time a gr is made increment of one will be done uh, number range 4344 is done okay uh automatic packing delivery split now these are some of the more transactions that you can actually attach like automatic packing, general packing, material item, if you want to really explain what it is or uh, what delivery, how delivery will be made. Okay. Next is billing types. Okay. Okay. Billing types. Now, whenever you are um, billing your customer, there will be different various segments of customers and categories of customers. Okay. And every customer will have a separate set of transactions. Okay. Billing document, define billing type and number ranges. Of course, we can assign number ranges. Billing types, credit memo, indirect invoice rebate, cash sales, number ranges assigned, category is invoice, uh, whether a block will be posted means that a billing document will require authorization, so it will be blocked under, until it is authorized, okay? So these are some of the types that you will have to maintain. Uh, we've already seen the number ranges as well. Okay, next is sales. Where is sales? Basic functions. Sales. Sales. Sales document. Header. Assign sales area. 
two sales document types. Now, sales area basically uh, combined sales organization. What was our company? If you remember or no? What was our company? Okay, let's see. What was our company? GT seventy two. DT-72, reference sales or DT-72. Okay, that is done. Okay, sales area and sales org. It's already assigned. Uh oh. Distribution channels. Do we have distribution channels? I believe we do have distribution channels. DT72. Sales org. No, we don't have it. DT72. How come it's not here? Okay. Combined divisions. Here we go. The seventy-two. Again, it is not there. It is finished. Okay. Sales documents. Okay. Now this is sales document type. What is a document type that will assign? Seventy-two. Okay, reference channel documents division. General division. Oh, okay, uh, let me share this. General division or uh, DT seventy-two. We have not found anything. Donut breads. Donuts, donut shakes, division, sales type, sales area type. Okay, sales area is not defined. Okay, we'll have to define that. Define DT72 DB as a general sales area. That's the problem, and we'll have to CPRO. We have to go back to our enterprise level configuration to define division and sales areas. Okay, enterprise structure definition sales uh, sales distribution channel. Okay, distribution channel. Okay. 
होलसेल डीएक्स जीरो वन टू सेवन डीबी डोनट ब्रेड डोनट्स एंड डोनट शेक्स डीबी डीडी डीएच डीबी डीडी डीएच ओके Okay. Sales office is made. Sales group. Donut pop, donut retail. Sales group is already made. Okay. Sales group. Assignment. Sales division to sales or not division. Distribution. Seventy two BB DD TH. It is seventy two. Okay, division, donuts, shakes, and breads assigned. Okay. Set up sales area. It is 72 distribution channel uh, DB, DB. Okay, so this distribution will actually take care of every segment of the business that you have signed. Okay, assign sales office to sales area. 
Serendipity Distribution Channel TV, TV Sales Office, DP Serendipity TV Serendipity TV Serendipity TV Serendipity TV Serendipity TV Serendipity TV Serendipity Okay, next is sign sales area to document types that we are looking at. Um, functions. Sales, sales, sales documents, handbook, sign sales area. Sales document five sales document five for sales area inventories uh it is seven two division db sales area type standard order. Donut bread, DP. DP DD, DD. So DP Now this is standard order. If you want to add more with these divisions, you have to take care, then you have to assign all of them. Enter. Define DT seven two DDB general sales area. Okay. Combined sales org. Okay, this is done. Combined distribution channels. DB. DD. H. Okay. And divisions, divisions also are also same. DB, DD, DH. Entries, DT seventy two, DB, DB. So, is it done? Yeah. Okay, this is done. <clears throat> Next is item categories. In category sales document item what item will be required configuration inquiry item text item inquiry item let's say uh inquiry item okay so completion rule business item uh schedule line is allowed or not now what are these basically automatic batch determination it can actually pick up batches 
for selling which are available the finished goods right create po automatic if you want to purchase order to be created based on this item category for example the customer sends an inquiry you want an automatic po to be created we can create that also okay then we have mrp related some checks over here okay and uh we'll keep it all by default this is already defined by uh sap so we want actually we can also configure our own um uh items over here standard item completion rule let's see what completion rule says okay completion rule not relevant for completion item is completed with first reference item is completed after target quantity is fully referenced item is referenced with via contract release so these are business processes that are available for your sales item categories okay now next is Define item category groups, assign item categories is next. Okay, now over here, of course, um, sales area is given over here. And sales document types will be given over here. And uh, the sales document that we are going to use by default, of course, these are given by SAP. Okay. Default item category, which item category do you want? To actually work with uh, the one we actually saw was ABN, which is normal item. Okay, so this this is again defined by SAP. Okay. Oh. Okay, sales document schedule. Now, what are schedule? Now, what are schedule lines? Um, now, a sales document also has to match with a delivery document. Okay, because you have to send, you have to send the doc, the material, the finished goods, the products to the customer. So it will have a delivery, a delivery, a delivery note or a chalan. That has to accompany, which will be invoice for the customer. Okay, so um, schedule lines basically define that. Define schedule line categories. What are categories? Now these are the categories without delivery, consumption, MRP. Now you can also consume it for MRP as well. Okay, now what is MRP? Material requirements planning. Now material requirements planning will happen at your plant. So if a plant is selling to another plant, of course it will require MRP. Okay, then we can also use for purchase order. Okay. Uh, now, this is again um, defined by SAP. Receiving, repair delivery, re delivery repairs. Okay, backlog, receiving. SP returns. Okay, standard. Okay, movement type will be used 601 award or movement types. Basically, these are used for uh, material movement recording because based on this, of course, your material consumption or material movement from warehouse to plant, this is actually symbolized with material movement types in SAP. Okay, there are various movement types in SAP. Like 101, good receipt. 107. GR to evaluated block stock, okay, return to vendor, returns reversal, good issue for cost center. Now, these are basically scenarios which are symbolized with numbers, okay. Order type is purchase requisition. Of course, when standard schedule lines are being, um, uh, are being uh, uh, serviced, okay, then delivery can be based on the requisition. It can be made ready based on that, okay. Okay. I hope I'm not getting too boring. Yeah, it is boring sometimes because configurations are a little bit slow. Okay, again, okay. item categories, we've already seen the item categories and we can assign the schedule lines over here. 
by default, these are available, so we don't have to actually touch them, okay? Now, next is condition tables, uh, pricing, for pricing. Uh, let's do that in the next one. I guess it's 